Meta AI has launched Llama 3.1, their most capable models to date. There is this huge 405 billion parameters Llama 3.1 and then there are 70 billion parameters and 8 billion parameters. So what are the key takeaways? So these models have context length up to 128K. They support across eight languages, right? Other than English. And uh, there is this huge Llama 3.1, 405 billion parameters model. This model compares very well in benchmarks when you compare it to say GPT-4 or Claude 3.5 Sonnet. In fact, in some of the uh, benchmarks, it does better than GPT-4 or GPT-4 Romney, right? Uh, and you can use these models for commercial purpose. That is, uh, you know, interesting. You can use this Llama 3.1 collection for commercial purposes. The architecture is decoder only architecture. Um, so somewhere over here, I had seen about the architecture. Uh, yeah, this is the model architecture part where they talk about, you know, uh, this has been trained over the, the 405 billion parameter model has been trained over 15 trillion tokens and, you know, over 16,000 H100 GPUs. A look at the kind of infrastructure which is required to train such huge models, right? Uh, so this model has a standard decoder only transformer model architecture with minor adaptations rather than a mixture of experts model to maximize training uh, stability. Um, so there is also this iterative post training procedure with where each round uses supervised fine tuning and direct preference optimization. So they made use that to train the model. Okay. This model is already available on say various platforms. Right, this is what they're saying. Uh, it's available on various platforms, including Google Cloud, AWS, Databricks, Grok. So you can try this model for free on Grok. So that is what I've done over here. You can log into Grok. So Grok is a, uh, you know, they have their custom uh, language processing unit or LPU inference engine, which is very fast. So as per their, uh, you know, release over here, they are saying that the Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter is available over here on Grok, right? Including uh, the instruct version of this model, the 70 billion instruct and 8 billion instruct are available over here. I even saw a video of someone trying it out. But for me, when I am looking at it, you know, in this list today, uh, I'm not able to see that over here. I can only try the 70 billion parameter model over here. Right, but you can try it for free, uh, you know, over here uh, at Meta AI. Okay, that is what they are saying over here uh, in their release. They are saying that you can go and try it over uh, in Meta AI. Right, so that is what I'm um, doing over here. Okay, so let's first look at um, you know some examples on Grok and then go over to Meta AI. Right, so what I did was I just gave this medical text okay so this medical text talks about a 50 year old female admitted in transfer from a hospital with certain conditions right and then i asked like extract medical entities from the below medical text right this is the 70 billion parameter 3.0 lama 3.1 and here if you see it extracted the diagnosis correctly over here including coronary artery disease mi myocardial infraction and lot of other you know uh, medical entities or diagnosis, right? First, then it took out procedures, at CT, uh, you know, echocardiogram, PTCA, uh, you know, uh, vitamin K administration. These are all the procedures and then it pulls out medications. Probably I would want dextrose insulin to come under vitamins over here, uh, sorry, medications over here, right? Not just procedures, but still, yeah, it, it's also a procedure. It could be an IV transfusion or something, so yeah. So it has pulled out the medication, it has pulled out the lab results, uh, you know, it has pulled out other things over here. So it has done an excellent job of pulling out these entities over here. And this is zero shot. Okay, and the 70 billion parameter versatile model over here is more like the instruction tuned version. Okay, um, we can try out another example over here. Uh, so maybe we can ask something about, 
Uh, you know? Okay, let me ask this question like, why is Mark, Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg releasing releasing uh, Llama 3.1 as open weights model. Let's see. Okay. Mm, okay. It says I couldn't find any information. However, I can provide some context and insights. Llama is a large language model. It is possible that you might be referring to the announcement of the release of Llama 2. Okay. I could not find any information about Llama 3.1. Right. Um, so what if I ask as why is LAM releasing? Okay, let me ask like using Lama family. Yeah, let's see if it is able to. Okay, you are in the queue. Yeah. Mm, okay, Mark Suburb. Okay. So Meta aims to accelerate research and development, foster collaboration and transparency, and drive innovation. So it's like pulling out the answers from the blog, right? Uh, but it's crazy that now you have a 405 billion parameter model available, you know, open weights for you to do your uh, either further training on your data or do instruction fine tuning, right? And this also supports various languages. So other than English, it supports German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Spanish, and Thai. Uh, context length is 128k. Uh, if you look at benchmarks, it performs very well when compared to say a GPT-4, right? Or GPT-4 Omni or Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And what they are saying is that uh, this took close to 39.3 million GPU hours of computation on H180 GB graphics cards, right? And the total um, greenhouse gas emissions were 11,390 tons of uh, carbon dioxide equivalent for training. But since Meta maintains net zero greenhouse gases, they say it is zero for training. Okay. So this is quite amazing. This model is available on Hugging Face also. So you can go and you know download these models, the smaller versions at least. Because to run 405 billion parameters for inference at say 16 bit precision or something, you require close to 800 to 900 GB of VRAM, right? Which is like, yeah, maybe. 10 to 11 h 100 cards of 80 GB. Okay. Um, yeah, but you can try the smaller models. You can try over here in Meta AI. That's what I did over here. So I said, can you find the sum of even numbers in this list? 22, 10, 11, 5, 8, 11, 1, comma, 5, 8. So is the result of adding num even numbers always even. So it actually, you know, picks up the even numbers, adds it up and says, yes, the sum, this is a basic property of arithmetic operations. And I said, do the same for odd numbers. It is doing it, right? So maybe I'll try a new conversation over here. Clear chat, I don't want to log in. So I can just try over here. And let me ask like, what is, uh, okay, let me see some recent thing. Who won the 2024, 2023 Karnataka elections? I think the cutoff is December 23 because uh, that's what I looked over here. Model release date is this thing somewhere. The cutoff was December 2023 for the training data. Mm, yeah, December 2023 is the cutoff. Let's see. Yeah, so highest vote return out. This thing lands like victory for, yeah. It's yeah, last year's news it's pulled out, but it may not be the latest ones, okay. Maybe I can try another conversation over here about hmm, explain. Okay, I'll say Ali Phi. Basically, explain like I am Phi, and I will say LLM. Very short query. Let's see what it does. Okay, yeah. So it says LLM stands for Large Language Model. Uh, you know how it works. The model reads all the text on the internet, learning it, tries to understand patterns in the text writing. 
think of it like a super smart spa- a parrot that can answer questions write stories translate languages yeah so this is like explain like i'm five so you can go and try out various use cases over here and see how it works for you right um you can try it out for maybe maybe i'll try out another one on you know um mm, create a python for coding basically program to read a folder having images and then classify them using a resnet model Uh, so it makes use of tensorflow over here it is pulling from the folders it is creating uh what, what is it doing over here it is just reading from the folder and it is just predicting it using model.predict it's not really creating a data loader and other things but you can go and create it so you can check out for coding purposes also right so this is a huge development and uh, you can try out these models on various uh, you know free platforms as well uh, like grok or meta ai and i i'm sure there are other platforms also where you can try it out i hope this video on meta 3.0 llama 3.1 is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to uh, the channel see you in another video